I was gonna make a joke about being horny enough to, to continue the terror, but you know what? Let's be honest. I'd let her s fucking crack me in half. Absolutely. Anyways, let's go. Chapter two, House of Wax. Oh, like w <laughs> Wax W A X. Got it. <laughs> Did something scary happen? Uh, huh? Huh? In the book you're reading. Did something scary happen? It's yeah, her, isn't it? Strong lady who's about to break me in half is the old books. I called it episode one. I did. I, I'm i calling it right now. Wait, no, because that lady has brown hair. I don't know. I still feel this lady's important. She's important. Uh, oh, no, no, uh, I must have nodded off and had a bad dream. What was it about? I can't remember, but I saw something or someone, and then I passed out. Or woke up, I guess. Hmm. Either you were awake and passed out, and now you're dreaming, or you were dreaming and got scared awake. Either way, you're on the other side from whatever you saw, for now. Yeah, real fucking intimidating way of putting that. Thank you. Whatever I saw. These dreams will be the end of me. I better find my siblings soon. A year ago, all nine of my siblings vanished into the into the woods during a string of disappearances. They were never found, so our story is a little different this time. Earlier today, I received this, this picture in the mail. Uh, it's a photograph of all of them together at my grandma's house. Here in Sacramento. It was taken recently. This photo is the whole reason I came here, but now it's making me uneasy. Like there's something I'm forgetting about it. If you're having trouble finding a book you're interested in, may I make a suggestion? It's called The Black Book. Uh, <laughs> I think I need to get going before it gets too dark. I'll, uh, I'll quickly hear her out and let her down gently. Sure. I believe you'll find this one to your liking. Ooh. Hmm. Smells funny. This book is... Roxanne. Her name was Roxanne. Where is she? A flood of fragmented memories is rushing back to me. I'm back at the beginning of the nightmare? Am I just starting all over? No. Think. Some of my memories don't line up. I remember my parents going missing, but... My parents are alive and well. I just talked to them the other day. Something has changed. What? What's happening to me? Having trouble remembering what you dreamed about? That's perfectly normal. Humans forget 95% of their own dreams. I imagine they forget even more about the dreams of others. Don't you think? Hmm. Who are you? Shh. It's alright. <laughs> you are safe here. Oh! I am Moo. Moo! I need the book you're holding. Moo! She's the bookmaker! Oh! Oh, yeah! Fucking... She was the one who set us up with Lynetta last time. Oh my god. Then she's the reason this whole damned mess even exists. The Blackwoods, the disappearances, all of it. You... You caused all of this? Ah. Uh, you blame me for the misfortune befalling the Black Goat because I made the book to begin with. I mean, yeah, kinda. That's fair. But I merely created a means of communication between humans and gods. Am I truly to blame if someone else uses it for evil instead? Kinda, yeah! <laughs> How is she just talking about gods like it's nothing? Are... Are you another eldritch god? Or an immortal human? I am neither of those things. But I am a friend, here to aid you. Interesting, so she's not a god. You've regained a portion of your memory. What is Moo? Look after looking at it, yes? That should lead you where you're trying to go. Gotcha. Thumbing through the book, Roxanne's face is coming back to me. If I recall correctly, I should be able to get to her through a uh, missing person lane. <laughs> god damn it. Thanks for giving this back to me. Don't thank me. In time... I hope you'll come to forgive me. Oh, God. 
this fucking intimidating as all shit. This feels familiar. I'm getting some killer deja vu right now. I've definitely been here before. But even still, this alley feels unfamiliar, like it changed completely from the last time I was here. I quickly pick a direction and break into a brisk jog, but no matter how hard I look, I can't find my turn. Backtracking, hugging the walls, nothing seems to be helping. What was my house number again? I bet it's somewhere in the photo I got in the mail. Wait a minute, this- It's the same fucking receipt! Other! Two others for ten dollars! I still think that's way too much char to charge for other, you know? Uh, <laughs> it's a fake. It's a trap, just like last time. If I turn around, I can get back to the bookstore and collect my thoughts. Hey, ow! Uh, are you, like, blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klutzerama! Great. Her again? What? Do I know you? Last time I gave myself away, right? If I don't stick- uh, If I don't stick around this time. Really sorry, gotta go. I break into a sprint, hiding my eyes behind my hair. I hear her grumbling to herself as I make distance between us. <sighs> Whatever. That's not what the- <laughs> What, do I know you? Is what she said. Even stranger, I managed to arrive to my old house undetected this time. I better rush to my room and summon Roxanne. The Black Woods are back. Yep, because... What the fuck?! God! Shit! Oh, why?! What are they all doing here? How'd they know I was coming? My head. You? That's it? Buck was so worried about... <laughs> Ma'am, please, just crack me in half. Just, just do it, please. Oh my god. I was wondering what raw strength you must have had in order to scare Buck into calling me in for this. And I was looking forward to tearing you apart. But you're just one scrawny mortal girl. I was promised you'd be an actual threat. This is overkill. Just do it yourselves. I hear the sound of steel unsheathing and heavy chains dragging towards me, but the sounds halt a short distance from me. They're hesitating? Is it me, or do they look afraid? What's wrong? What are you idiots waiting for? Buck says that in a previous reality, she somehow managed to kill all of us. Alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was totally it was totally me. Look out. The cultists are muttering uneasily amongst each other. You couldn't win a fight a thousand against one in your own base. Somewhere behind that mask, their cool gaze is sizing me up. As if I don't see it. I, l I love that the, the person's name is just Large Cultist. Come on, think. I need to break their confidence. Buck was telling the truth. I did beat you all, and then burned down the Blackwoods... Uh, burned the Blackwoods down with everyone in it. Notice how Buck, the one who knows the most about me, isn't here. You didn't want to risk it? She's that dangerous? They look visibly rattled. None of them want to risk their precious, long-lived bodies. Now for the biggest bluff. Don't think I'm a threat? Don't think I can wipe the floors with you and your friends even now? Go on. Underestimate me. Make the same mistake Buck did before he lost. Alright. I've heard enough. I'm interested. <laughs> you dummy! You've scared the little ones away, so now the big one's interested. I got him! Every single one of them dropped their weapons, except for the big one. However, you're wounded, unarmed, and outnumbered. <laughs> I'm not about to live the next thousand years ashamed of myself for killing you now. Go lick your wounds first. Okay! Billy, now isn't the time for playing around! <laughs> Shut up! Cultist D, I love. Outside. No one gets out. No one comes in. Great! Is he gonna be happy about this? 
Cultus E. What? They're they're lettered. <laughs> but we'll have and Great. The cultists begrudgingly depart, retrieving their makeshift weapons from the ground. None so much as look at me as they pass. After all that talk, what you said about beating the thousand had better be true. Because if you can't prove your strength to me, <laughs> I'll destroy you. Yes, ma'am. Did they break your arm? My, huh, my arm? Oh, dear God! <laughs> my arm, it really is broken. How am I going to make it out of this now? I won't let an unfair advantage hollow my victory. <laughs> oh, excuse me! Excuse me! What the fuck? Did they just break their own arm? <laughs> my expectations for you are high. I believe you really did beat the thousand once. But that ends here. You're crazy. Wanna fuck? <laughs> you have one ritual. Then, I'm coming. <laughs> and don't think I'll stop at a couple broken ribs when I find you. See, the thing is, as scary as this is, I know you're a cultist because you bang. So... I mean... Hey. I brought myself some- I bought myself some time, but what did I just get myself into? Uh... Can I talk to you? Hi. Go. I won't be denied my glory. God damn it. Uh, I, do, I just- I just want to say hi. Hi. Okay. There we go. So, do I not have to worry about anyone in these rooms right now? I really hope that's the case. Ooh! That's a good effect! Roxanne Selva Oscura. Hello! Stardust, it really is you. I can't believe this. It's me, Roxanne, the Black Goat of the Woods. I know. Don't worry, I remember. Really? You do? Yep. When I saw the book, I remembered everything. Well, 5% of everything. Most important parts. <laughs> I remember her all right, but what happened to the standoffishness? I don't have any memories of being so close. Stardust. Oh my god! Stardust. <laughs> it's been so, so long. I could die happy. Granted, I did. I did die. And not just the many times that I, that I failed, but, you know, also when I succeeded. But you know what, I can, I can die happy and just, I, you know, uh, there are no words. <laughs> so long. It feels like I just saw you. This is so different. She's completely lost her composure over me. For me, it's as if hundreds of years have passed. Not that you would have noticed your reality beginning anew. Only cosmic entities still exist in the space between dreams. Hmm. Wait, us meeting, that happened in a completely different reality? This is terrible! I know it's a lot to take in, but... You mean I wore the same thing to two dates? <laughs> I love her! I love her already. Oh That's my god. That's the part I thought you'd get stuck on. You're completely unfazed by the fact you haven't existed for a millennia. Kinda. What were you doing all that time? Trying to avoid falling asleep again. To keep from creating new nightmares. But now that it has begun again, I'm so, so happy that I'm dreaming about you too. That's cute. She's brushing my hair with her hand like a mother coddling their child. I don't like that, but don't say that. Listen, the mommy jokes and the nurturing aspect. Yeah, that's all good. Don't. Don't. Say that. Anyways. <laughs> it's nice, but I just realized something terrible. What has Buck been doing all this time? 
Floating in the space between dreams. Right. Strategizing against you, likely. <laughs> After all, he had nothing to do but reflect on how you beat him. So he didn't die when that reality collapsed. He floated in the space between dreams to this reality, which is why he knows about me. Shoot, I'm going up against someone that knows all of my moves from a parallel reality. That explains how I got ambushed. He knew I was coming. We should hurry. I want to hold on to this moment for a bit longer. We might actually have the time for it. Only one cultist is after us this time. What? Really? Who? I think the other said his name was Billy? Billy? Oh, Stardust! That was not a man. Or at least not a he. I refuse to believe that that was a he. What, is that bad? Very bad. Oh, this is a nightmare. I couldn't bear to watch if Billy catches you. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It didn't seem so bad. What? Again. You were using they. Now it's a he. D they're a he. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> she. And the fact that you met her and lived is a miracle. Again, I was like, I I'll buy into to non-binary, but that clearly they have tits it, and have the, the like the like the braids. Like, there's no way. There's no way that that is someone who identifies as a he. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Uh, she seemed different from the others. The rest of the thousand act like a, like mindless zombies, but it's like she was fully conscious. Well, I suppose it's possible that even with her bloodthirst multiplied a thousand times over, that she still has a desire stronger than that. To fuck. <laughs> she was one of your tormentors, right? Do you have any guesses about what that desire might be? She has a very odd honor code that she follows to the letter. Our strict adherence to that code is probably the only thing strong enough to overpower my influence. Got it. From what I gather, it's essentially the law of the jungle. Big fish eat small fish. Might makes right. Might makes right. But that can't be right. She takes orders from Buck. There's no way Buck is mightier than Billy. Have you seen her? She probably considers Buck stronger than her because he's immortal. That's a fair assessment. Okay. Hmm, so even though Buck is physically weaker than Billy, she still listens to him anyways because he's essentially undefeatable. I can use that to save all three of us. All three of us? Ugh, Stardust. <laughs> even for being in a cult full of brainwashed psychopaths, Billy is the least reasonable. The only way to get through to her at all is to speak her language. But we could fuck, is what I'm saying. I'm counting on that. I just have to think of something. I suppose I could beat her by finishing the rituals while she's hunting me, but I doubt that she'll let me just let me go if I succeed. The house is surrounded. There must be some other way to convince her I'm stronger than her. I uh, gotta get this shit for Epicurean Feast. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. There's no way this goes well, right? Okay. E Hello? Hello? Okay. We're going in this room. Go eh, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it is what I said. Hello? Hello? Okay. Eh. Eh. <laughs> I tear the hunk of uh, a hunk of meat from the hook. This should this should be what I'm looking for. I don't remember this being uh, spoil I don't remember being this spoiled for choice last time. All this meat. The thousand were really out for blood this time around. No, I don't like it. Uh -huh. 
It's good. And now I go to the kitchen and I'm like, hello? Hello, anyone there? No one's there. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm, am I talking too much? I think I might be talking too much. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh, nope. If I, if I go back. Metal, metal bat, banging. Okay, lovely. Okay. Take this. Okay. Okay. It kind of helps that I can hear her at least. Uh, don't stop. Oh! A kitty! Hello, little darling! Poor thing must be terrified with all the commotion going on. Come on, let's get you somewhere safe. No! Don't do it! Don't do it! That's gonna be an evil cat! What? Its face is missing. What's wrong? Never seen a Russian blue before. Ah! Yes! Nandelfel tap! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Hello. Roxanne only gave me light lightheadedness, but this. My sanity is slipping through my fingers like grains of sand. Pardon my intrusion, but when my niece didn't awaken, Madam. wailing and clutching at her sheets, uh -huh. I knew something was amiss. I had to see the source of her pleasant dreams for myself. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I've heard much about you, mm. the way my niece spoke of you. Yes. You'd think she'd learned nothing from her eternal torment at human hands. Ah, uh, yeah. Your niece? Roxanne? So you, you're her aunt? Many call me aunt. Others call me the Klein Chaos, the haunter of the dark. Yeah. The mind eater, the unknown that pushes back. And I call you mommy. I've earned many ominous titles and aliases that... I don't much care for, but you may call me by one I do quite like, Auntie Nyan Nyan. Auntie Nyan Nyan, yeah. <laughs> I'm being driven over the edge, my very sanity thrashing towards its watery tomb amidst the unimaginably thalass thalassophobic void. Th thalassophobia, I think, is the fear of large things, right? Oh, having trouble there. Where's that indomitable human spirit that I've heard so much about? Oh, you saw plenty of that in the last game, ma'am. Hmm, hmm. Pathetic. If Roxanne could see the state of you now, she'd know she was wrong about humans. Eh. Foolishly believing that humans and gods could be anything more than livestock and butcher. Right, They're right. Admirable, worthwhile traits like kindness and perseverance are just in human nature. Right, because Auntie Nyanyan is about keeping gods and humans from interacting. That silly goat. So old and yet still so naive. Alas. I was once her age, she was yet to be my age. Her torment will help her grow up. Uh, how? How dare you? She's suffering! I've seen how much damage th this has done to her, and I'm not even halfway through healing any of it. Is this some kind of joke to you? This is gravely serious. That's why it's so damn funny. God damn, why do I love you so much? Come now. The very same humans that she lent her power to use it for the sole purpose of inflicting as much suffering upon her as possible. Classic comedy. I mean, I get it. Ah, the cosmos is always laughing and never smiling. 
Oh, what a shame. Had to come along and muddle the lesson I'm trying to teach her. Oh, so this dearly for that. This is from you. Did did you come here to to, to kill you? You're not immortal, so death means nothing to you. You mm. aren't around to see it, and in the next reality, you won't even know it happened. Mm. Oh, my creativity would go to waste. Fair. Besides, I never feel so threatened by a human to step in personally. I'm here for, oh, what is the human expression? A victory lap? I'm here to watch you die. When oh. the thousand takes back the book, and Roxanne gets what she deserves for consorting with humans. Well, that's just mean. I won't let you say something so awful about your own family in front of me. Like it's nothing. You won't let me. <laughs> You've clearly lost your composure. Presuming to tell a god what she can and cannot do. I'd revert back to my suppressed form to spare your sanity, but that rebellious glint in your eye is really pissing me off. I I instinctively hit the fucking spray bottle. Even though I desperately wish I hadn't. I wish I wish I had just let her do whatever the fuck she was gonna do. You see this, Monk? I'm etching a permanent tally. Counting the number of times that you've been made humble at the bloody hands of the thousand. This one's a given. This will help you keep perspective. Oh. The next time that you think there is any hope, any hope at all, take a good look. Your memories of its significance will come pouring back. Interesting. Enjoy resting your head on Roxanne's shoulders while you can. Soon Okay, fun. I cut her off, unfortunately, but, uh... But, you know, that was bound to happen. Hello? I cannot talk to you? Okay. <laughs> I'm not facing them, apparently. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, that smells wonderful. So Ma'am. Follower of mine. But is it ready? It may not be hot enough. <laughs> Yet. Ma'am. Oh, such decadent, indulgent food can be so messy, too. If only we had something to eat off of. I'm never sp spraying Roxanne. I'm never spraying Roxanne. Just get used what to it. Me, if you'd like. <laughs> I'm, I'm never spraying Roxanne. Oh, I'm sure there's some plates downstairs. I could throw the food in the microwave if it's gotten too cold, too. Always ready for anything, aren't you? <laughs> I shovel a small handful of morsels into my mouth. Well, I wasn't prepared to meet your aunt. My aunt? Auntie Nyan Nyan? Yep. You saw her? Yep. What is she doing here? She laid one finger on you, so help me! Nah, she just scratched something outside. No, no, I'm I'm fine, really. She just said she was here to spectate. Spectate? What a sick old witch. <laughs> I'll give her something to spectate. Mm. Oh, do you really make her angry? What if we made out right now? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> It'd be so funny, trust me. We're not supposed to. But also, I've, I've made a promise. I've made a promise. I'm never touching this. My mouth's full of food. Oh, can I have a taste? <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I was only 90% serious. God damn it. She's getting more and more serious as time passes. It would have really gotten to Auntie Nyan Nyan, though. I would love to get to Auntie Nyan Nyan. In several ways. She seems nice. You're allowed to say you hate my family. She seems... nice. And after? After I get to know them, it'll be too late to hate them. I'd love to hear about your family, Roxanne. If I ever have a dream where we aren't in so much peril, I'd be happy to tell you all about them. It's a date. Cute. Perform. 
Wild evolution. This is not the same. Okay. I found a shortcut to uprooting. There's only three rituals that need to be done first. Should be faster and easier. Drinking directly from a healthy beating heart of the woods. Okay. No. Chant while near your partner. Okay. So. I need to get where? I need to get to the heart. The ladder room. No one's here. Honestly. Okay. Not okay. Drink from this one. As soon as I touch the heart, a large quantity of blood spills out onto the floor in front of me. I, I cup a handful and drink it down. It's strange. After losing so much blood, the, the heart appears to have grown slightly larger? I feel a little funny, but it, it looks like I did it right. Yeah. Then back to fucking Roxanne. I seem to have been getting very lucky so far. So far, Billy has seemed a lot fucking easier than uh, pr pretty much anyone else. Okay. Uh, okay. Chant well near your partner. Fa face the statue. It doesn't fucking say that part. Okay. Face the statue. Okay. Wow, yay, ye Gregor. This I like. Seeing you in my dark image. <laughs> what? Warms me to my roots. Excuse? Hmm, dark image. I don't feel any different. What changed? Let me check my reflection. This'll be good. It was always good to check your reflection in the first game. Stardust, I wouldn't look in the mirror so soon. The shock might be a lot to take in. Okay, but now I basically gotta look. Phew. Deep breaths. Be strong. I have goat horns? Ma'am? This is not bad. This is... <laughs> okay. This isn't so bad. All in all, I, I think I actually look kind of cute with these. We're going to see past reality, and we're going to see that we're actually horrific, aren't we? I wonder if they're real. Can I touch them? Honestly, it's still not that bad. I gasped. What was that? Was that me? And was that my voice just now? I sounded hoarse, like I've been screaming at the top of my lungs for hours. But more importantly, what I just... what I saw just now. What happened to me? What... what... what's... Whoa, is that a tin can? What are you doing? You're going a little too goat right now. Something is very wrong with me. <laughs> oh, lovely. Perform beguiling medley. M melody. Wow. Okay. Uh, face towards a device capable of producing sound from a radio signal. Ensure that it's on. This ritual will amplify all animalistic behavior of those within earshot, including estrus and aggression. What the fuck is that? Don't worry about it. Just go straight to Roxanne as soon as possible after chanting. Trust me. Haha. -ha. Why? So I gotta go here. And, <laughs> and of course, the fucking person that I'm avoiding in the hallways is also definitely gonna be in earshot. And therefore is gonna be even more aggressive. Ain't that great. It's this way? TV room? Okay. And then we're gonna <laughs> chant three times. Turn TV on. God damn it. the 
fuck is... What? Okay, well, she didn't get me. So that's good. Psst! I'm back! Suddenly, a floral perfume-like scent washes over me. Oh, Stardust. I was just thinking about you. <sighs> One of these times, this is gonna get me killed. But I need to know. <laughs> you were thinking about me, really? In fact, okay. I've just been so hopelessly distracted by you that I seem to have misplaced all of my clothes and adornments. Oh, what a shame. Whatever should we do? Hmm? Got you covered. <laughs> Always in the... Is it, is it always in the mood? Like, m moo? I'm, tr I'm trying to think, it's a cow. It's a cow, why is it a cow? It's gotta be always in the mood, right? <laughs> I love her! Oh, my plus size queen. Yes, okay, yes. This is a real low point. <laughs> I'm keeping this shirt, by the way. Oh, that old thing? I basically only use it for pajamas. Take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Completely fine. Oh, I should reciprocate. Come here. Let me do your horns for you. It won't take long. I sit down while she gently preens and decorates my new satyr-like spikes. Oh, look at you. So pretty. My sweet Bothanopad. What the fuck did you just call me, ma'am? I feel the top of my horns. The tips have been adorned with lustrous metal. I shake my head a few times. They fit. The fit is perfect. Wow. Was that Billy? It sounded like her bat. That was fun, but I'd better get back to the rituals. Okay. What am I doing? What is this now? Labyrinthine roots. This will expose the psychoactive roots of the black woods, allowing them to burn without an accelerant this time. Cast cast outside, like on a porch or balcony, but face away from the woods. Do not look at the woods in any way until the second phase of the ritual is complete. Great! I love this! I... I... I just... I'm all checking my watch to be like, so how much longer do I have for this? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so... On the other side of the bathroom? Okay. So out here. Hello. But don't look at the woods. Okay, I'm trying to make sure that- Oh, nope, 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 nope. I'm trying to make sure there's not a lick of trees that I could be looking at. Okay, do not look at the woods in any way until the second phase of the ritual is complete. No, no, no! Okay, you may have lost your sense of direction. This is normal. Stay calm. Do not, uh, do not directly view the woods in any way. Windows or, or windows and doors included until the ritu ritual is completed. Avoid looking into any mirror. Find your way back to your partner. Chant to hide the roots from your sight. Okay. Fucking... Okay. Oh, don't eat Don't do that. Okay. This should be... Easy. This is not where we were. 
Oh no! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, it's not immediate. That's good. Okay. Well, that's not good. Well, the fuck? How the fuck? Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Oh! Hi. Okay. Nope, 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 oh, god damn it. I saw it to the left just, just a moment too late. Okay, okay. Do not look at the woods. Do not look at the woods. We're going into the bathroom real fast. Except that's not what this used to be. Okay. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Goodbye. Okay. We're going here. And we're going out into this place. I'm just gonna spin around a butt. Ha ha. Okay. Okay. Now I go forward. I go forward. I go forward. I go forward. Hello? I know she's gonna be here, but aha. Okay, now she's there. And I go that way. I go that way. I go that way. I go that way. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. Bedroom. Wait, wait, wait. Bedroom! Hi! Yes! Okay. On your way back to your partner. Ah! Psst! Roxanne! I did it! That was the last ritual before I can uproot you. Oh, that's... great news. I... I know. Okay, listen. What's wrong? It's nothing, but... If there's... Any loose ends left to tie up. Now would be a good time to do it. Before uprooting me, that is. Haste makes waste, after all. Any loose ends? Still haven't beaten Billy yet. If I don't do it now, I might not get another chance. But then again, Billy is scary as hell. I was able to survive all this time without getting spotted, but who knows how many times she's killed me in other realities. Once! One time. If I knew that exact number, I might be able to come up with a strategy. If I... If I knew that exact number, you say? These are the tally marks that Auntie Nyan Nyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one for every time I've lost. Doesn't really prove it m much as is. One moment. I need to look something up real fast. I don't like that I can't hear Billy right now. I I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, if you're really sh okay. Uh... Wait! Don't! Not yet! Please! What are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave yet! You don't know how long it's been since I've had any solace in these nightmares! Since my dreams are something to look forward to! Now that you're here... Aww... I don't want to go. I don't want to go! How do 
do I know I won't be alone next time? What if you aren't there to make me feel safe? I don't want to leave. Oh, okay. We can stay. What? I'll stay with you here for as long as you need. But we can't. I know that. If we sit around and wait instead of ending this now, bad things will happen to both of us. We'll lose our opportunity to end things on our own terms. Fair. Something bad is bound to happen to everyone. That's life. But that doesn't mean it's not worth living through. I'd never cut my time here with you short just because it'll end eventually. Uh, I'll wait here until someone drags me away. I can't ask you to do that. I couldn't do that to us. I couldn't see what they'd do to you. Yes, you could. You big old worry wart. <laughs> Bad things happen, sure, but they always pass. Plus, you're immortal. Something good enough to make uh, something good enough to make all this worthwhile is bound to happen eventually. You're right. No matter what happens, it will pass. I just have to be patient. Whatever our time hard holds, I'll have the heart to face it. Thank you. Anytime, Roxanne. Ready? Ready. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, my sweet stardust. Well, very sweet. Escape! Oh god. Can I? Okay. It's so quiet and so, like, dramatic. <laughs> There's so much dramatic music happening now that I'm like. There's no way fucking What's Her Face is gonna fucking pop out of me and kill me. But also. I. Oh! What happened? Did the house fall on me? I don't see any rubble. The book. I've got to take it in. Don't. You can't see your body, but I can. You'll suffer if you try to move. You're finished. No, I'm so close. I reach for the book, but my wrist is kicked aside. Stop already. You're already dead. Even if you can't feel it yet. Jeez. I'll be taking this to Buck, as promised. Oh no. I try to yell in protest, but words won't come out. If Buck gets the book back, no, I won't. I won't let either of you hurt Roxanne. Not in my house. Let go. Let go. You can't put up a fair fight anymore. There's no glory in prying this book out of your hands now. So admit defeat and let go already. She can't do it, cause there's no, there's no glory in it anymore. I reach with my other hand and thumb frailly along the closed pages for a grip. If you're going to dishonor me by not conceding, I'll have to take this by force. There's a loud tearing noise. A pain beyond belief rips through my body. Hmm. You ripped out a page as I pulled the book away. Why? You're too wounded to speak. You won't be able to catch she still anything took it. to save yourself. That doesn't matter now. I know I'm beyond saving. This, this me, at least. But if whatever, what everyone is saying about new realities is true, and there will be another Stardust another time, then I'll happily pass the baton. But I won't let Roxanne suffer in the meantime. Save the Black Woods. You ripped out the page that lets you summon the Black Woods. If that burned with the house, Buck would have no way of summoning Roxanne to hurt her, and she would be <laughs> saved, right? That's your plan? I mean, That's yeah. You're going to waste your strength. Uh, <laughs> useless. Is it though? I feel my fist being pried open by her inhuman grip. My entire hand goes numb. All of my extremities do. There's a pause before my wrist is released and limply f and falls limply to the ground. 
I hear footsteps retreating as Billy leaves me. I've failed. I was so very close. I'm sorry, Roxanne. With my last drop of will, as my vision begins to dim, I turn my head towards my uh, towards my clenched fist. Page still in hand. Let it burn. She's leaving with the book, but letting me destroy the most important page. There's too much to unpack here with what little time I have left. So instead, I watch the page in my hand burn to ash as everything goes dark. Roxanne, in this dream, the one about me, you're sa <laughs> the one about me, you're safe. Stay tuned. Another episode of Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, is coming up. Huh. Even though Stardust lost the battle, looks like she's winning the war, isn't she? Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Can't you find somebody less famous to get their hands dirty? What Next the fuck? Sucker for Love, the Lonely Devil Arrives. What? Now who wants an autograph? What is this next episode? Like, what? What the heck? Chapter two. Oh, no, now I didn't want to replay. I wanted to see the, the... Oh, hey, there we go. Okay. Okay. There is a way to... to... There is a way to, uh, to save, um, b well, at least befriend Billy, I guess. Um, according to what I saw, you have to get killed by her at least once. And then you look at the, the, the tallies that Auntie Nyan Nyan is leaving and you wait for Billy there and then you can befriend her. But... That's not what happened to me. I did die to her once, and she was like, uh, can't do anything with this information. Anyway, that being said, that is all the time we got for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for the next episode. And uh, in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.